Hey guys, it's Jake again. And I'm Ollie, again. And uh, today we're going to be reviewing probably the last of our Angels and Airwaves stuff for a while, besides the movie obviously, uh, which is the EP, which is Stomping the Phantom Brake Pedal, the Scar EP Evolved. Uh, and do correct me in the uh, comments if I'm wrong. Uh, but Ollie, what is the Scar EP? So, scores usually mean that it's more a thing of showing what a band can actually do as opposed to just releasing an album. And so usually they wouldn't have that many lyrics, which we can see here, like, the only song with lyrics in is, uh, well in the first part anyway, is Diary. But then the other two songs are just instrumentals, and that's kind of like what the scars are. And um, we don't have a physical copy of Stomping the Phantom Pedal. So here's a picture. And we hope you enjoy that picture. Yeah. But basically, <laughs> we're going to try and take a different style with this review uh, than we've done with our album reviews because obviously there's not many lyrics, we can't discuss the themes as much. So we're just going to talk about the music and we're going to go through the song and say what happens and our opinions on it at the end of each song. Or, and at the end of the album, uh, AP, sorry, we'll um, look at all of them together and see what we think about it. But basically, that's it. Uh, and first of all, um, we have Diary. Now, Diary is the longest song on the EP, which is about seven and a half minutes long, I believe. Yeah, uh, really long song, and uh, obviously you're thinking, alright, it's only got a few lyrics. It's a long song, seven minutes, surely it can't be that good at all, it's just, you know, music, it can't be. I mean, instrumental's good, but they're not great. And uh, <laughs> if you've seen our other reviews, you might think, oh, they're going to you know, slash this because of all the things they don't like about the interludes. But... We're not. We're not actually, no. The diary is really, really good, and a lot of people like Valkyrie Missile. And they have replaced Valkyrie Missile with Diary because they like it so much. And I can how, see why. Yes, yeah, I can see why. Now, how it starts, it's like synthesized, angelic, harmonic, however you want to like say. It comes in, and the piano starts it off. Um, because Alan and Tom and Matt and David use different instruments for each different song and there's loads, there's a variety of different instruments. But the first one's the piano and it comes in and you've got a slow melody uh, with chords slowly building the song up in general until you get to a penultimate chord and then that's uh, followed by a deeper last chard. Which kind uh, of like destab destabilises it, kind of like a seventh chord maybe. Hmm. Like, and it adds like sort of tension to the um, piece and like means it can go somewhere, you know what I mean? Hmm. As opposed to having like a perfect cadence. Yeah. Uh, and after that, after that destabilisation, you get a slow drum beat building up, which um, as time progresses gets more rapid and louder and, uh, and in beat. You can uh, start to like, like feel it like pulsing from right here. So you're thinking about this time in the song, you're thinking, okay, okay, where's this going? Uh, and then the next part, all right, it's a hard, side, hard sound to describe, so bear with me on this. But Is it the bagpipes? Yeah, it's the bagpipes. <laughs> it's, uh, it sounds like synthesised bagpipes. So if you were in Scotland, but Scotland was on the moon, that's my way it sounded like. And you floating through space as an astronaut, as an astronaut this is what you hear. <laughs> but, yeah. Tom in an astronaut suit playing bagpipes. <laughs> With a lad next to him. <laughs> oh, yeah, but um, yeah, it's calming sound. It's um, Obviously the drum beat's quite rapid and fast and this calms you down because you've got the synthesised bagpipes, which doesn't sound synthesised. Um, it doesn't sound relaxing either. But... Sound, yeah, <laughs> but... Um, you know, it's it's all right, but it's different. Hmm. True. Yeah, it's different to what they normally do. But after that, uh, it doesn't last long. You have the piano again, uh, which is more uplifting and flows more with the rest of the instruments this time. Uh, and that's you know the drive the drum beat as well. But the drums this time, it's not just like it's a it's faster than that. It it, it combines with the piano. I don't know how Alan's done it, but it, com it combines with the piano, and you have a sort of like connection of instruments which flows straight into the next part of the song. And if you have like the it's just got chords at the moment, but if you've heard like the song before, you know the sending like melody that's gonna come soon. Hmm. You can kind of almost hear it in your ear between the chords. Because it's like kinda of building up to that. Yeah. But like you can't do that really if you haven't heard it before. But like second time you can start to finally like hear it, like even though it might not necessarily be there. Hmm. So you can kinda of predict what's gonna happen next. And after you that, you've got the whole song slowing down. Um, and you're thinking, alright, is that the end of it? Uh, it's actually not. The, the piano's left, and it's similar to the beginning of it. It like goes back into like a loop. With a synthesised, yeah. Yeah. It's, um, it goes down. It's more heavenly, more harmonic. Um, 
And I say heavenly because it's my, you know, angel, angelic sound, you know, I it's don't, kinda, it's like, that's how we can describe it really. It's kind of like elliptical as well, like, it leaves a lot for you to think about. Oh yeah, because the, the breakdown is quite, you know, um, <laughs> invoking in a way, because it's, you're not sure what's going to come next and you're curious and you're just thinking, hmm, okay, what's going to happen now? And but, then there's that tiny pause where it's like almost nothing left hmm. before, like, it comes in with the lyrics. Yep, yeah, true. Uh, the lyrics, right. Um, before it, you've got like a warped sound, which just got, which um, if you listen to it, it does give you goosebumps. Um, if you're like in, a, you know, by yourself. If you're in public, it won't uh, because you're not concentrated on it enough. But um, it, the lyrics are warped at first, and unless you've got like a lyric sheet with you, you won't understand them at first. And there's a lot of like different like versions that people think like of the second life, different um, second line, definitely mm. like. Some people think it's looking up to heaven, some think it's like breathing. Open up the airflow. Open up the airflow, that's it. Um, I think it's open up the airflow, and Jake thinks it's looking and up I think, to heaven. I think it's looking up to heaven. Um, if any other fans out there have heard that, Harry, please you know, comment below and say what you think you the think second line is. But I think it's looking up to heaven, he thinks it's um, open, open up, up the, the airflow. airflow. Yeah, it's the website uh, doesn't really have the lyrics, as, as far as I've checked, so it's just open to interpretation. But the lyrics in general... Uh, um, God-related. God-related, yeah. The most one so far, like, most God-related song that they've done so far, I reckon. Yeah, even more so than, I don't know, maybe Letters to God. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, like, it's all about, sort of, repenting, and um, also going back to, like, nature, like, returning to nature, especially with the line of falling back to pastime, which could be, like, linking to back, like, cavemen and all that. And like sort of almost nostalgia of when there wasn't like all oh, things we have to worry about nowadays. And then the um, the final part of the song is the lyrics just fade away um, with the song uh, with Tom. Yeah, with Take Me As Your Servant with Tom just sounding off the final lyric. And Which is definitely ends. like extremely religious. Yeah, because of its connotations. Take me as your servant. Take me as your courage. Take me as a weapon. Um, it's you know definitely connotations of religion and God and things like that. Um, but I think Alan's influenced him on this as well, so I don't know, maybe it's just a, a, a theme they both share. They are amazing though, like... Mm. Oh, well, it's a good ending, it is a good song. Even if, you know, it, the God references are a bit more stronger than usual, it's still a very good song. And um, I think definitely, probably, I st we still haven't done New Blood or Real Six yet, but overall I think it's the best song. Yeah, the best song on this, like, side of the EP. Definitely. Uh, the longest, but the best, because the build-up's great, the use of instruments is great, uh, the feeling you get from it is great, and the lyrics, although a bit, you know, warped and unsure about the interpretation it's of what When you start to get, like, more use of the song, they grow on you a Yeah, lot. they grow on you, and you can understand where they're coming from. And, um, yeah. It's a really great song for, like, when they get off the train after, like, a dance and it's all dark, and I have to walk from the train station back to mine, and that walks about eight minutes as well. Hmm. And so it's like perfect timing, and like I get to this certain point, like walking in the dark, where you know the bit where it's kind of like where it slows down and there's nothing, and that bit like is at the top of like this hill that I'm on at. You can like stop for like I don't know like a minute or so and just look around whilst this like sort of you know that that silent bit is. Mm -hmm. And no, it's a uh, magical, magical song. But yeah, uh, New Blood is the next song, and. Um it's shorter than Diary, so, and we don't have much to say about it because it's not. Um, well, I'm just going to say it. It's it's probably the worst song uh, of the three, uh, and there's no lyrics in New Blood or Real Six, by the way. Yeah. Um, the so, starting of it is a ha all right, harsh sounding beat, which it's it's harsh in comparison to Diary. It's not soft or angelic as such immediately. It's just like, dun 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 dun, and it's um. Is it a piano sound or is it like a drum sound? It's kind it's, of. I don't know. It's a mix between the both, I think. I yeah. Think between drum and but piano. But it kind of like runs throughout the song, like that's like the constant thing that's there. Driving it. Which <laughs> lets it down because it's not. It's just Great. an annoyance. It doesn't. It's not a calming sort of sound. It's just kind of there and you're just kind of like, well, you know, go away. <laughs> we don't want you here. You're not listening to it, like driving you crazy. Yeah. Don't, 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 don't. Yeah, um. After the harsh sounding beat intro thing, you've got uh, a change of heart, it's like harmony thing again that uh, Diary has, and then a and slow then change a, into piano. Into a piano riff that is repeated a few more times, which is slightly more relaxing than the uh, sound that's in the background all the time. But that, that uh, doesn't last very long, and it goes back to the sort of synthesizer hmm. and the warp noises. And then a new piano part comes in, which is a 
like sort of a longer section of piano. Yeah. And um, but that's repeated as well, which is pretty good. So like it goes from like a shorter section of piano. Uh, fruit of like the diary synthesizer kind of thing that they've got going on. Not the bagpipe synthesizer, just like the harmonic yeah. sound synthesizer. Uh, and then it comes like a longer piano beat, um, which you know works. It's a uh, it's like kind of like a, a structure of a song in a way. But then it kind of like like we were just discussing whilst we were listening to it how like it doesn't build, progress as diary does. It doesn't build up. But then like as soon as we said that, it was kind of like we jinxed it, and in came all like the the kind of like warp noises and all the like the original piano part comes in like and lots of different sounds and it's like a heavy drum beat with like cymbals and stuff yeah and it's kind of like the climax of the song yeah it's it's i don't know it doesn't good. last that long though no a minute maybe less than yeah that. i'd say less than a minute maybe 40 seconds something like that but it's um you know it's effective it works because you've got the, the build up and the half sounding beat is a bit annoying but uh, when it all comes together, it's, you can't really hear it. No, it's kind of there. You know, it's just it's there in the background, but you still got the piano and things like that. And it's you know it's 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 okay. You can listen to it. It's you know it's listenable. But then it can like breaks down again, like quite soon after, and you're left with that little annoying sound at the end. Mm. And it kind of has like a jolted ending. Really, yeah, it's just, just like dun dun dun. dun. Yeah, it just stops. Doesn't fade out or anything. Just stops. So you know uh, a change, I guess. But we don't direction. think it's as effective, like. As provocative as Diary. Oh no, no way. I mean, maybe that's because it doesn't have lyrics or something, but you know, it is a score, so we can't really judge it for that. No, I can't judge on the lyrics, but as regards the music, um, yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit more broken up. I mean, still like song structure in terms of the piano, then uh, like the synthesizer thing, then the longer piano section. Uh, it's like you know, verse, chorus, verse kind of thing, but. Um, as regards lyric, not lyrics. Uh, as regards um, the build, the build up. No, no. It's not great. But I did hear somewhere that Mark Hoppus was going to call the lyrics for New Blood. Really? I heard that somewhere, but that hasn't happened. And I remember that was December sometime. So, like, if you're not any information of that, or, like, maybe it's happened and I'm just too ignorant to notice, then please tell us in the comments below. Love to hear it. But, yeah, the last song is Real Six, uh, which is, in my opinion, better than New Blood, but not as good as Diary. Yeah. It, it just falls short. It's the second best. <laughs> Maybe I'm biased because of the lyrics, but um, you know, I'll, I'll try and judge it on the music and not the lyrics. So, the intro to Real Six is a lot... It's not harsh sounding, it's not building up, it's kind of different. Cause it's Space. Spacey, yeah. It's of space noises. Not as, not as much as like Fight of the Apollo is, but no. still, it's like warped kind of space noises. And when I say warped, I don't mean like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We said warped a lot, but yeah, that's the only way we could... We were, dis we were discussing that as well, weren't we? That, like... This whole thing was just like has a theme of warped noises. Yeah, it's, well, you can't really properly describe. You can't describe. You can't describe it. So warp's the best way we can say it. So it's not like a um, a bad warp. It's a, it's a good warp. It's a good warp. It's a good warp. It's a good warp. Yeah. But yeah, um, yeah. You've got the warp sounding intro, then a fast repeated beat, uh, which is a, kind of like a drum beat. Kind of not like a drum beat. Oh yeah. But once you, once you listen to it, you'll understand it's what I mean. It's pretty groovy. <laughs> it's a groovy beat. <laughs> then it's got more harmonic sounds again. I mean, the theme they've got throughout this heavenly. The EP is sort of. the heavenly harmonic sound and, and the warp sounds that go through the entire EP. Uh, and after that, you've got the build up, which um, it's quite quick. The drum beat is quite quick and it builds up quite fast. And then the warp noise comes quite fast as well and, and uh, accompanies that. Yeah, it accompanies it well. And then once it's built up, the uh, guitar riff comes in, doesn't it? It's quite. It's very um, distortion like it's got lots of distortion on it. It's like <laughs> you know it, it, I mean? do, it does yeah it's like a distorted guitar because, but all of it's pretty much distorted because that's the way the EP is. But it's like a full sort of sound when once the guitars come in with the drums and the warps noises and the guitar kind of like it sounds good. Mm, it does. And then once that's once that's done it breaks down to a quieter warp noises. And uh, a repeated high pitch piano tune. Oh, it's kind of like going low high, isn't it? Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Yeah, so it's like more more at the high end, but it still goes like like jumps from each side. Yeah. Um, and then once that's done, uh, the build up again to the guitar. Uh, it's almost like a typical strong uh, song structure. Yeah. Sort of like verse, chorus, verse, chorus. Except there isn't any lyrics. Mm. It's a bit more stronger than New Blood has, rather than just piano, uh, synthesizer piano. It's like you know. 
guitar instead, which is what you'd usually have in a, a chorus of a song. Yeah, this would. I actually think Real Six would have been like good if it had lyrics, if it was a verse, chorus, verse, mm. chorus. It would, yeah. it would be good. I would enjoy it. But I don't know. It's it's because the it's got quite a lot of instruments in it, so it it can be quite hard to write lyrics to it. To be yeah, honest. maybe. Because like, Diary and New Blood both have guitars, but this one does. But it, it kind of because of the other instruments that are in there, it kind of makes it hard to visualize how you'd put lyrics to it. But I'm sure anyway, Tom can find a way. Oh yeah, Tom always finds a way. In his world, as well. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, the um, the song itself, uh, towards the end, it breaks down uh, pretty much instantly. Uh, the warp sounds leave, and um, it just fades the, out. The, the, the piano sounds are just left, and then it fades out. Yeah. And, so, that, and then there, and there that, you go. And you finish the first side. Yeah, and there you go. That's uh, the first side finished. <laughs> um, Real six is, in my opinion, it's. It's a calming song, and not as much as Diary is, but it's still, you know, it's quite one you can listen to a bit, and it's got elements of Fight of Apollo with this warped space noises and the guitar and things like that. So, you know, it works, and it's good, uh, but it's not as good as Diary, but it's still better than New Blood. It hasn't got the harsh boom, 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 yeah. boom sound that goes all the way through it. But, yeah, I don't really have much to say about it. No, <laughs> that's it, basically. Um, so that's our EP review of... Stomping the Phantom Brake Pedal. Still don't know why it's called that, but there you go. Uh, <laughs> and so uh, we're going to be doing Boss Car Racer like, as our next review. But like after that, we haven't got that much left, really. We have Pink Floyd and Love Move Me. So like, yeah. if you want to start like, putting, bringing some more like, requests, like maybe some Blink, and but anything, really. like Yeah, the, as long as it's not, you know, Justin Bieber or One Direction. You know, anything like, you know, pop punk or rock or... Anything in that sort of genre. Yeah, so you know, All Time Low is an example, Green Day, that kind of thing. Uh, because we're not we're not you know used to reviewing pop stuff like One Direction and whatnot. But anyway, yeah, uh, enough of that. If you've got any ideas, put them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, guys, and look out for the Boxcar Racer review coming soon. Bye.